Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Saltwater Scourge Lab of Legends adventure. We're going to be using Twisted Fate this time as our opening champion. This will be our second run. We just got done with our first run with it using Tom Kench for our first champion. And it was just a ton of fun. I really enjoyed playing it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Uh, but yeah, this time we're going to be using Twisted Fate. That's what uh, Twitch chat said. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's start over. Here we go. Here's our new board. Man, this is so cool. This this uh, one player mode. Okay, so we got Swain. We got Swain for our other uh, boss fight that we will have. Awesome. All right, let's go through. I guess time is of the essence. So we have uh, learned that the, the faster you go through, the better. All right, so our first first fight is against Crimson Disciple. If you haven't if you haven't seen the uh, if you haven't seen this game mode or anything yet, uh, feel free to check out the other video with the Tom Kench that I did. I kind of explained through like what this game mode was and everything better. So hopefully check out that video as well for the beginning of that. But it's single player. You have one Nexus life total throughout the entire thing. You do have different ways to heal your Nexus. And finding cards that can heal your Nexus is important. Because, yeah, you only have one life total for the entire game. Like, all the way through, through the gangplank boss fight. Like, the entire boss fight. All the fights. Okay, we got our opponent at 8. So early on, they, they it starts off kind of easy. This is a real spin to win. Oh, I, can't wait. I guess I'm just passing. You can see that we actually, uh, you start with 1 mana you know, for the beginning of the round. Your opponent actually, the CPU actually starts at 0 mana. So actually a mana behind in the beginning. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Okay, if you die, you can retry the event at full HP where you died. So you have like one life to you can uh, revive. Then you get a lower score at the end if you do that. Alright, so I don't want to take the damage. Sorry, Twisted Fate. You won't feel it. First. This isn't lethal. Open wide, sugar. But I can't really get lethal because I play a wave rider than they have a blocker. I helped build this empire. Alright, pill for goods. Maybe they have something that does one damage. <clears throat> Not quite. There we go. Let's go red card. Never lost a fair game. All right. So far, so good. Okay, you have infinite lives, but you get a lower score each time. I gotcha. You have infinite retries. Choose a card to add to the deck. I guess I should see what our deck actually looks like. I just kind of started playing. So we have Parlay, Prowling, Cutthroat at 1, Black Market Merchant at 2, Jaw Hunters, Pilfered Goods, Slot Bot at 3, and then Fate, Spray Fin, and Wave Rider. Not a bad, not a bad deck. Um, we have 4 spells. Okay, I kind of like the Plunder Poro being a 1-drop, but it's kind of the weaker, weakest card. Peddler... Puffcat Peddler is just a really good card. And Puffcat Peddler just fits the whole plunder theme and everything. So let's just take Puffcat Peddler. And we'll kind of figure it out. Nice, we've reached level two. So that means we get a new champion. Victor, Vi, or Nasus. Oh, all these champions are so good. I want to take Victor, though. Victor's so much fun. We get Armed Gearhead and Calculated Creations to go along with Victor. 
Mm, but Victor is also four, just like Twisted Fate. This Vi one is actually going to... Would probably be pretty good. But then you get Sansu... You get the one drop over with Victor. You know what? Let's choose Victor. Victor is just a lot of fun. And that's what this mode is, is all about. It's having fun. All right. So we get... We're traveling on over to the Coral Creatures. Those things are the shops. So we only have 50 gold. So we can't purchase the first two. This one says, When I'm summoned or destroyed, grant your strongest ally plus one plus one. Eh. When I'm summoned, draw a card. Eh. Reaver's Row. Eh. No, those are really that great uh, anyway. We'll just kind of leave it be. All right, we're going to just head on over here now also, because I think this is, like, by power or by level. I mean, so, like, we're level two, so we'll just we'll fight the low levels first. So we're going to go through. We're going to try to defeat every single little guy so that we can get as many different cards and gold and all that kind of stuff as possible. All right, good. We got Gearhead Parlay. Good way to start off. Parlay, probably good against Legion Saboteur, I would imagine. Broke my hand, so I got a new one. You're going to try a deep archetype? Yeah, because there are a lot of deep monsters. Um, I I did have I did have the ability to take a Nautilus last time. I, I didn't end up doing it, but we had the ability to. Man, I don't want to take three. I don't want to block this thing either. Dodge this. Give her a taste of tomorrow. Hmm. Guess I'm blocking. Remake. Ugh. All right, I'm smart for waiting. Okay, I want to do that because I want to have more information of like, do I want to jaw hunters or not? And you can see here, I don't really want to jaw hunters. And then also just have more information on like this thing, just you know, more information just in general of what we're doing. Let's do ballistic font. Yeah, you do end up with a ton of cards at the end. You said you had 54 cards in your deck. Yeah, you can end up with a lot. No one's the wise. Oh man, that's that worked out well. Don't get to ignition to grow the bot to be a 2-3, uh, but that's fine. Alright, so we take 3. Alright, victor time. Yeah, victor's so much fun. Alright, what kind of keywords are we going to get? Elusive. Not bad. Especially when we start getting like the the power ups, like the, the three powers that we have, like if we get like free spellman all the time for Victor, or you know, like we can find some pretty cool powers to go along with Victor, I bet. Um another blocker. Life steal? No. That was fast. Alright, still need to play two more creative cards to level up Victor. Which I don't think I'll be able to play another one. I could get like the two mana. We got life steal. Let's say I could get the two mana sea monster. Might as well try. We're deep. Okay, we've got to heal our nexus back to twenty two. That life steal is the perfect. Um, one to hit. The thing about choosing Victor is I did just make this run is going to be a lot longer now, <laughs> being a Victor deck. Oh, Death Ray's good. Warning Shot also good. So is, so is Rush. These are all pretty good. I kind of want to choose Rush. It depends on like how much card draw we can get with our Twisted Fate deck. 
whether or not death ray is going to be necessary oh i'm going to take the rush but of course the the death ray is good with like victor of like having more creative cards maybe i should maybe i should have taken that okay choose a power oh yes Welcome gifts. I love welcome gifts. When you summon a um, an ally granted a random keyword, love welcome gifts. And that's perfect with Victor. Victor just gets a keyword immediately. So already one of its keywords is gone. Okay, 65 gold. We shall take it. Let's go. Doesn't really matter which way. I guess we're, we're just close to this thing right now. Let's just go this way. Yeah, Agent Alice says, Riot did such an amazing job with this game mode. They really did, and and I'm excited how they're talking about how there's just going to be more, you know, more different regions besides just the Bilgewater one that they're going to be adding on, more maps. They they do such a great job with this game, and, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Okay, I mean, I'm, I should just keep all this. So round, round two, we'll save our spell mana. And then we'll have multiple spell mana for creating cards for Victor. Oh, we don't have the attack token. Mm. Alright, maybe we play more things. Lifesteal, elusive. I forgot everything gets a keyword. Overwhelm. <laughs> With everything getting keywords, we're going to just have a lot of random things have lifesteal. And that's going to be good. Uh, wait, why does this thing get a 2-1? When allies attack, grant the weakest attacking ally. Plus 1, plus 0. Alright, cool. Hold it, sweetheart. I, of course, can heal that one nexus. Uh, that one to my nexus back fairly easily. Hey, hey, it's the boss man. Remind me to upgrade your thought processors. Okay, good. Like, don't kill my Victor. Alright, so Victor is already starting with lifesteal. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> hey, John says, good, says, I'd love to, for them to expand this. Uh, to be able to do multiple region runs. Can you imagine doing all 10 regions in one run? Dude, your deck would be like 200 cards. <laughs> Probably more, and yeah, it'd be like... Take 10 hours to clear that run. Alright, Peddler. Okay, Peddler gets tough. Maybe I should have... No, oh, this is fine. Say maybe I should have just done the, the twisted fate, but this is fine. Don't mind if I do. They grow up so fast. Man, I love our deck. <laughs> oh, Victor already has quick attack. All right, so let's play this so that you know, if we attune, we have mana now to attune. I think we've got elusive now. Let's go. Red card to turn on plunder. No, maybe just wave rider. I guess we can just kill them. We don't have to sit around here forever. There's got all these elusives. I'm, I'm not very good at not casting my cards, even though like I can just attack and kill them and end and, and the game. <laughs> I just want to play my cards. Playing cards is so much fun. Oh, we get a pike with a Doran's Blade? Yo, we gotta take pike. But, dude, concurrent timelines. How crazy would con con concur concurrent timelines get in this mode? Concurrent timelines with like everything getting... Oh, man, well, we gotta take a pike, right? All right, we're taking Pike. I want to take just champions every single time we got. Okay, travel this. See if we can cut a card that's not very good. Oh, all these cards are kind of good. 
Big bubbles! The bubble bear one. They grow the bubble bears. Pike isn't great. Well, you never know. If we lurk a pike, it will be like four power. Right, because it, so it's three right now because it starts. It's a three. It's a four mana three four quick attack. Plus, we'll get another keyword. You know what my future is? Glorious. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe we. <laughs> this thing's got fury. Maybe we, uh, you know, just draw it, and then so then it gets the lurk bonus, and then it does four. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be just fine. So Let's play. All right, slot bots start growing. What keyword did you get? Life steal, dude. We are hitting a lot of life steal. Can't leave until you win. Life steal is a good one what to get. All right, so Victor already has Fury, now Challenger. Yeah, I'm ready. Guess we challenge. Yeah, see, there we go. Death from below. Death from below. I wish that counted as a creative card. So it's going to strike for four, right? Yeah. Has, has the augment keyword? Pike with augment? Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> what did we get? Let's go. Yeah, Pike's not that good. Up top, you know it. All right, we're going to just do one damage to this thing. I guess I, sh I should do one damage to the Bubble Bear. Yeah, I should have done Bubble Bear. Oh, okay. That's fine. I wanted to do blue card. I was going to do blue card, see if we draw it. That doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, I I'll just blue card now that we did this. Nice. Alright, not letting that thing block the 4 1. Alright! Man, Augment Pike. <laughs> Dude, I this Welcome Gifts key, this Welcome Gifts one is so good. Especially with Victor, but just in general. Just giving everything keywords. That is, is so valuable. Predict? Pilfer Goods can just have Predict. Calculate Creations. Can heal your nexus. Ooh. Or Rhymefang Wolf can have tough. So Rhymefang Wolf already has tough, and then it'll have challenger. I'm gonna take the wolf. Tough challenger with something else. Level four. Oh, level up. All right, we got an item for our champion. When I'm summoned, double my power and health. I mean, that would normally be good, but I mean, that only just t turns it into a 4 4. So we can make it a 3 3 Fury or a 4 4. I guess 4 4 is better than a 3 3 Fury. Plus, if, if we can get other things that add on to that. I wish we could get a champion thing for Victor instead, but oh well. Um, I will take some Black Market Merchants. Yeah, let's take some black market merchants. All right, when a player goes deep, they create a treasure. <laughs> if you could predict what you steal from the pilfer goods. Predict their bottom card. This is a good hand. 
no victor, but, I mean, everything else is great. Especially having the attack token round two. Get to play this on one. Our quick attack fearsome elusive. Oh, oh. There's the pike. Gimme, gimme. Slaughter docks. Slaughter Dox is going to help me go deep faster. Because remember, whenever you go deep, you get a treasure. Alright, fine. You can hit me for two. Give me the Slaughter Dox in play. <laughs> Black Market Merchant has regen. Okay, we're going to go red card. Kill his Jaw Hunters. For augment! Okay, Twisted Fate's got Augment now. Who says I don't share? Alright, I'll just play that thing. Our, this deck is good. Really having that Welcome Gifts. Can you imagine if our next power is also Welcome Gifts and everything gets two keywords? Is question one. Question two, can you imagine if we get the... There's the other power that I assume that they have in this mode because they have it in the other one. Um, I think it's Evolution is the power where you, each unit gets plus one plus one for, our, for however many keywords it has. Now that would be crazy if we can get that. Are we deep yet? We're four away from deep. I guess nabbing their cards isn't good for me for uh, them getting deep. Death from below. Is that going to do four? I don't know. Let's see. I think it does four. Yep. Oh, overwhelm. To go along with quick attack. Boom. Man, loving our deck. Mayor Manuel says, I just want to run where I, I free generated a blade's edge each round and the blade blade's edge also predicted. <laughs> so you get free predict and blade's edge every round. Oh, we're so close to this epic. Epics will upgrade to champions kind of often. <gasps> Misfortune? Let's get more champions. Misfortune plus three plus one. Sure, why not? More champions it is. All right, the glorious chest. What do we got? Okay, parlays can be free. Pilfer goods, when you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. I like that a lot. And then this has support. Give my supported ally plus one plus one this round. I like this pill for goods, reducing the cost. I also like free parlays. I want basically because I want like zero mana cards, right? So like, let's take that pill for goods. Okay, now where are we going? Let's head down here. Doing some traveling. You have a rise with minus two cost, so yeah, so it'll be one mana spam arise, yeah. See, so for six mana, you can fill your board with sand soldiers. Yep, yep. Whew. Man, this this is looking good. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what else you have, whether or not that's good. Our armed gearhead will now be elusive. Try to keep up. I think I'm just going to keep the two spell mana instead of play the cutthroat. I wish I would have mulliganed the cutthroat, but you know, I didn't know I was going to have the armed gearhead. Get bloody, get paid. This is a real spin to win. Keep trying. I'll just take it. Misfortune. Six four. What did we get? 
Pike, you were in the wrong spot. Fortune favors the bold. Misfortune with Scout? Time for okay, now we're talking. Misfortune with Scout. Okay, obviously I'm not going to attack with Misfortune again. They can block with the 2-3. Getting free keywords all the time is just so much fun. Like, that's why Victor is so much fun, because just keywords are fun. Speaking of keywords, gonna play this. You're only a 7 1 slot bot? Why are you. Hmm. We'll get, we'll get Lifesteal again. I can take some damage. We're gonna get life steal again, eventually. I'm not too worried about that. All right, scout, quick attack, Victor. And each time I play one of these spells, this pilfered goods goes down. Okay, red card for Twisted Fate. It's gonna clear some stuff up. See, I told you we we're gonna get life steal. Alright, playing this will make zero mana pilfer goods. Ooh, monster harpoon. The problem is, is I kill them. If I, whatever I scout attack with just kills them. So I don't get to actually, like, you know, level up mis misfortune. That's too bad. If only they had some more health. We could have killed them more. <laughs> this mode makes memes into dreams, right? Chump Pump with Quick Attack. Chump, the uh, the thing I love about Chump Pump is it make, creates the two Mushroom Clouds that's created cards for Victor. And uh, so I love that. Ye Bend Warn just costing zero mana. Not bad. When cast, heal your Nexus equal to my cost. Dang. I can have Dawn and Dusk like double up Victors. I can have like two more. Like, like if I get like a crazy Victor, I can have like two more crazy Victors with a Dawn and Dusk. That sounds like that could be pretty crazy. And then I also heal my Nexus for six. Wow. But Yee Ben Warren costs zero and then draw a card. And yeah, I'm going to just take this Yee Ben Warren, zero mana Yee Ben Warren draw a card. That's the card I should take. We've reached level five. Do we get new power? Yes, new power. Okay. Allies everywhere, there are three or less have Lurk. That would help out. Or give it Challenger this round. I think I want to do this lion wait. Let's see. How many allies do we have that cost three or less? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen of our thirty-four cards. It all have lurk. Nope. How do I get rid of this? That. Raise my health to match my power. Meh. Yeah. I guess it's that. It's either that or the dual list. It's one of these two. Um, this just helps out my pike, right? Like how we have the pike in our deck. That's going to really help out that pike. Oh, wait. Go back. There's this thing. Travel here. Can we cut a card? Okay, I can cut these rushes. Or cut these calculated creations. Let's cut the rushes. We don't really need that card. Nice! Nenuel at the final boss, messing up Gangplank. Love to hear it. Bilgewater PNZ. Alright, I'm going to send you back. What 
We got the attack token round one. Oh, hit the lurk. So now the armed gearhead having lurk and having overwhelm to go along with the quick attack and the augment. Good combination. I guess I play this. I wanted to play that to enable plunder for black market merchants. Yeah, it's a little late now. Looking for trouble. It found what do you got? Life steal. Yeah, I'm ready. Unfortunately, they're gonna block, and whatever they block just dies. So we don't actually get the life steal right there. Death from below! You don't even notice we have death from below. So is this gonna do... I guess this is doing 5 damage right now. Yeah, I should be doing 5 damage right now. Alright, gonna go ahead and red card clear some stuff up. <laughs> Twisted Fate with regen. Okay, we can just open attack and win this with the misfortune. Guns and, play. and get that life steal, get back to 24. GG. Fortune smiles. Man, our deck is crazy. We can get game plague now? Volunteer Elnuk when someone created a random Elnuk. No, I don't want to really create... I, I, I like the three mana unit with like having that, that lurk three mana things, but no, let's just get Gangplank. Quick attack Gangplank with quick attack overwhelm, plus we'll get another keyword. All right, treasure chest, glowing chest. Okay, after one mana aftershock, after plunder. I think that's what I'm in. Uh, yeah, I think I'm in for this one mana aftershock. We can have... Um, Take, yeah, let's get this Aftershock. That's real valuable. All right, now we'll head on over to the store. Uh, I don't know. We could create more of any of these, but... Oh, these are cut a card. Do we want to cut any of these? Right, right, right. We want to cut any of these. We could cut these... Cut these things. Okay. And I'll keep all those. Okay, back to... Or, okay, let's just do this one real quick and then we'll go back the other way. Okay. So when an ally strikes for 5 plus damage, grant it plus 2 plus 2 is their power. Oh, yeah, so is Gangplank a good guy or a bad guy now? Yeah, right. Yeah, how do you get... Yeah, you shouldn't get Gangplank in this mode, right? They shouldn't give you Gangplank. Because we're, we're trying to fight Gangplank. Yeah, they shouldn't give us Gangplank. Even if it is a quick attack Gangplank. All right, Bilgewater champs, unite! Broke my hand, so I got a new one. Plug and play. Love it. I should have played the cutthroat. We could have been all Bilgewater this this game. <laughs> Dude, I love getting free keywords on all this stuff. Yeah, life steal misfortune again. Um, I'll just take it. We'll gain that back. Don't you worry about that. Okay, I'm going to red card. Enable plunder. No, oh, this thing still costs one mana with plunder. So just think about blue cards. So I still have the one mana for them. Alright, get this vulnerable. No, they have another one. Basically, the problem here is that they get to block... Again, they get to block the Misfortune. I don't heal my Nexus. That's what I wanted to... 
I wanted to avoid them be able to block the misfortune. So we don't really hit the lurk. We haven't hit it yet. I guess we're gonna have to block with misfortune. Let's make this a night to remember. Join the glorious evolution. I did, and zero regrets. Yeah, we'll just heal our Nexus again. Oh. All right. Back to, back to 24. Lifesteal Victor. Don't mind if I do. For the hand. For the hand. Hmm. Yeah, fearsome challenger. Okay, so we can parlay their Nexus. That will turn on Plunder, so now this Aftershock costs one, so now I can Aftershock this thing. Get rid of the blocker. There's the Guile. Been waiting for that Guile. Oh, also Sprayfin just got Scout, which I didn't really realize, so I could have just done that instead of the parlay. <laughs> I guess that's an option also. All right, but there we go. Exact lethal. Outplay. GG's. Delphine says they should make this a giant world with every champion and just have every region and a map of everything. Yeah, that's actually what that's what kind of uh, Agent Iowa was saying earlier. Just having like a huge mode. Loving that. That that'd be cool if they get there eventually. Like where that would be an option. I don't think Dreadway being ephemeral is very good. I guess Sumpworks map with. Elusive and Predict? I don't know. Moon, Moon Dreamer is a 6-6? Six, six. I guess 6-6 six, six Invoke for 5. Alright, we'll, we'll take that. We can do 6-6 six, six Invoke for 5. Travel over here. We got a lot of gold now. What was in, What was over here? Oh, yeah. All these. I don't want any of those. Oh, that's, that's just deleting cards. Do you like if they let you pick any champ to start with? Yeah, probably, I don't know, maybe it's difficult having it where you can choose any champ. But maybe eventually. Um, who knows? Yeah, and then you just have all the champions out there, like Super Smash, like where you just like choose which one you want. It's possible. Yeah, so the, yeah, you got... Nenuel says this mode's fun. It's an improved version of Lab Legends with branching paths and not just finding the same fights in the same order all the time. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I still love the original Lab Legends as well. I just hope that it sounds like they're just going to continue to increase all this Lab stuff, though. That it's a, um, you know, going to be a big part of the game moving forward, and I, I really, I really like that, and I am uh, glad to hear it. Wanna arm wrestle? Trade here. While I could aftershock, I don't really want to. I don't know. Maybe the the problem with trading there is like if they put like a really good blocker for this misfortune, then we don't get to attack. Oh, like that. <laughs> but we will have scout misfortune. Wait, what? Is, what do they got? Round end deal one to all stunned enemies. Okay. Let's make this a night I guess that's acceptable because that's what it says it does. I can take eight. That's the great part about this welcome gift. We know we're gonna find life steal, and I can also just sit here with Victor and just get Victor life steal eventually anyway before killing them. If we decide that's something we want to do. Hey, TF. 
How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Okay. Twisted Fate's got scout. So now we got quick attack scout with Twisted Fate. We will not fail. Genius in action. I wanted to play the Twisted Fate first to see if we got augment. Alright, that's just gonna get rid of the spell shield. Lurk. All or nothing. I guess I may have to trade one of these things with Legion General. Oh, that lurk was death from below. I didn't even notice. Well, another brilliant design. Pike having scout. That is definitely a way to. to uh, oh, I, I don't. Have plunder turned on, but well, it's definitely a way to um, level up Pike super fast. Alright, so everything has scout. Alright, but we're down to 15. Hmm. Maybe I need to... Just see if we hit lifesteal somewhere. No lifesteal. Alright, we could be at 15. I think we'll probably be fine. I've always been a fun guy! <laughs> Level up, Pike. This list just keeps getting stronger. Yeah, that's that's true. I could also like just actually use a heal thing. I, I've never, yeah, we haven't really used the heal thing, so, but yeah, we could we could actually just do that. Yeah, we turned into a full scout deck there for a minute. Dude, this deck is good. I think this is better than our Tom Kench deck. But it's not as defensive, it doesn't have as much Nexus healing. When I'm summoned, heal your Nexus equal to my cost. Alright, I think we're taking this Eye of the Dragon. I guess that's... Same thing whenever I cast the Bayou Brunch, but the Eye because the, the Eye of the Dragon can just come into play for free. We don't spend any mana, and then it's summoned and it heals. Uh, let's go to the shop. Oh, see, I'm, I'm about to face a boss. We can get more armed gearheads if we want. Daring Poro, plus one, plus one, Lurk, and I am a Lurker. Well, it's, it would already have the Lurk and a Lurker, so it's just a one mana, two, two, elusive. How about this? Parlay win cast draw a champion? That seems awesome. What else we got? Spring Spring Guardian has Challenger. Win cast draw a champion? We just draw all of our champions basically right away. But I guess that's not great for the pike. All right, well, I guess we're going to take all these <laughs> win, cast, draw, champion. Okay, we'll travel to the healer. Rest up. Before the boss fight. When you summon an ally, deal one to the enemy nexus. That's the power for Swain. Every time they play an ally, my nexus takes one. Alright, this is a good start. 
Because the parlay will draw a champion and then maybe do one to their nexus if they play one health thing and then I'll enable my aftershock. Tough. All right, so I'm gonna kill this thing before it gets granted the plus one, plus one. And then I guess I just aftershock and kill this Legion Grenadier. Yeah, I mean, for one mana. All right, let's see if we get hit our Lurk attack. Yeah. Plus, by playing that parlay first, you know, we drew the Gangplank, which could have been the top card. Oh, what a lurk. Attack card. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to block this thing with Misfortune. Misfortune has elusive? Oh, I don't I don't have mana for a creative card for Victor. Hey, Tia. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Cool. I like Twisted Fate regen. And good thing we drew that card because we would have missed Lurk. Ah, uh, we still missed Lurk anyway, though. Man, what if Misfortune was like a 7 4 elusive? Oh, um, that card... That card's kind of a problem. 8-2 overwhelm? That's kind of a problem. I could be taking way too much damage right here. Like, unnecessarily too much damage. Disarm. Best way to the heart is between Good. the ribs. Metal is perfection. Yeah, I'm probably taking too more damage than I need to. <laughs> Not life steal. I right, should kill him pretty good. Down to five. We're going to have to use... <clears throat> going to have to use some healing. But I guess we're, we'll be back up to seven. There should be another one of those healing things that I didn't use. <laughs> yeah, our keg had a regen. Two mana crush bot. I'm taking the two mana crush bot basically because it, it just helps out our lurker count. We have leveled up. When I'm summoned, heal your nexus equal to my cost. Or plus one plus one or spell shield. I assume you get an, an additional copy of one of these champions. It's either Pike or Misfortune. Um, I want to do the plus one, plus one. That's what I want to do. Maybe I can... Okay, plus one, plus one a Pike. No extra copies? Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. I'm going to plus one, plus one the Pike. Maybe I spell shield a Pike. No, nah, plus one, plus one. Okay, let's find let's find a healing thing. Oh, did I already use this? I 
I already used that? I guess I used it to I used it to delete a card. Okay. Well, we shall use this healer. Plus 15 health, thank you. Did I go to the shop? I don't think so. Ooh. Slotbot could have scout. When I'm summoned, I capture the strongest enemy for the Daring Poro. I think I'm actually just going to leave. None of those are that strong. We need another power. We need our created cards costing one less, so free spell mana all the time. I need to be able to curve out and then still on round four play um, play the victor and then have the mana for the created card immediately. For the hex core upgrade. Broke my hand. Golden Crush Bot. What do you get? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, hit the lurk. Okay, this Golden Crush Bot's not bad. If only Golden Crush Bot was a 2 mana 2 5 fearsome with lurk. Alright, so I could play the wolf, but I'm not going to. I am going to instead. Oh, they nabbed a black market merchant? That's a good one to nab. I'm gonna instead just I'm gonna hold my spell mana, because I think that there's gonna be spells I'm gonna want to play, like hex core upgrade, parlay, that kind of stuff. So like this round, we can play upgrade, next round we can go like gangplank plus parlay plus upgrade. All right, so we got regen. Regen, quick attack. So we'll draw a champion with the parlay. Oh no, I was going to say, it's kind of likely the, the champion is Pike. Uh, problem is they get to challenge my Powder Keg. <laughs> my 1-1 Powder Keg, thanks to Lurk. But it's better than me taking the damage. got over there. Pick a card and pocket aces. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does look pretty funny when nab cards upside down and then flips back. It does look pretty funny. Doesn't this look like all these all these cards have quick attack? Sorry, Gangplank. I don't really want to take all of it, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's go Pocket Aces here. That thing has regen. Ow. Well, I tried. And just be more damage for leveling it up. And then I guess I should have blocked with the Fury. Oh, this thing has Fury and regen. Like, it has the regen also. I, should, I shouldn't have blocked it. 
with that. That's alright. Never lost a fair game. You got Viego with your Tom Kench? In this mode? Dude, Viego would be awesome. Oh, we got another pike. Okay, so we have two pikes in our deck. That's good to know. Yeah, Viego sounds awesome. All right, there we go. Now Victor has life steal. So scout, life steal, everything else. Oh, aug augment. I could have had that. Okay, yeah, 30s are our highest life total we can have. Man, I cannot wait till we get another power and to see what our other power is going to be. Welcome Gifts has been incredible. Okay, Ash, Ash was your your main, yeah, your second one that you had that you just found. Viego, I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Wind cast, grant the top ally in your deck power and health equal to my cost. Whoa. So you just play this for four and then they just get plus four, plus four. But then again, Porobot that has quick attack and gets another keyword and will have lurk. And we want to have like a lot of these things because they, they get lurk or the cutthroats that we already have, they get plus two, plus zero. They're going to be really powerful. I kind of want plus two plus zero on the cutthroat honestly because that's just going to affect a lot of cards that we already have all those other cutthroats all right glittering chest take the treasure of the gold and now what can we buy <gasps> we can buy powers we can buy powers allied buffs are permanent thank you i mean i'm just going to buy all these right i guess i can only buy two of them right now start a game draw two allies have attack raise my power match my health the thing is i don't know if the, this grit does anything for us allied buffs are permanent but like what i don't even know if we have any buffs actually i honestly don't know if any of these do anything this is really unfortunate we have the ability to buy powers which is amazing but these are these powers don't like what is this can't stop won't like what does this can't stop won't stop even do all of our stuff is permanent already okay and we can only buy one one at all. I mean, I guess we could have start of the game draw two if we just want to have some extra cards in our hand, I guess. Um, allies have attack, raise my power to match my health. That doesn't... I mean, that affects, like, the one golden thing and, like, maybe a slot bot. That doesn't actually help. <laughs> if it was health for power, that would have been nice. Yeah, I guess we just draw two. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's... Probably better than not having the draw two. I suppose. Man, I got so excited there for a second with the draw powers, but unfortunately they just weren't very good powers. Sure. We'll just keep these, and then we'll draw two more cards. And then draw another one. <laughs> okay, so my thinking here with keep Pilfer Goods is, you know, like, Pilfer Goods can cost less mana if we play some spells. And so we can, like, play a spell, then play Pilfer Goods, and then that's two spells, and then Claws the Dragon comes into play for free. And heals our Nexus. Definitely like having the tough. Oh, hey there. Don't mind the knife. What do you have? Nobody has fury. Easy, tiger. All 
Alright, so we're just going to attack and then play Black Market Merchant after we deal some damage. Open wide, sugar. Mm, I'll just wait on Deep Menwarn. Yes! Oh! That was Pike! We got Pike on top! Alright, wait till next round so I can play two spells. Alright, we've lurked twice. Oh no, Pocketises! So I should have blocked the Black Market Merchant. Anyway, because the Black Market Merchant... Yeah, I should have just blocked that. Because the Black Market Merchant doesn't have the Augment. Alright, heal our mana for two. Or heal our Nexus for two. Regen. Oh, I have too many. I was planning on playing Death from Below, but I have too many things, obviously. I'm always up for a round or two. This should probably kill him. Who says I don't share? I would think. Well, we'll just play this first, see, see what we get. Yeah, Twisted Fate needs to have plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. And our, our deck is ridiculous. I cost zero when cast deal damage to your nexus equal to my original cost. Okay. So it costs zero, but then it does two damage to me. But I do like zero cost spells. We take two damage every time we play that. I mean, that's better than any of these other things. <laughs> this, this card's going to be more useful than any of the other things. Yeah, zero three cost to cast. Fight. Man, this game mode's so fun. <laughs> Y'all think I should take the zero three? Well, to, to be fair, the zero three cost to cast would have lurk. So to be fair, it would have lurk, and it would be a lurker. So it could be bigger. That takes you. Not a very good hand, that's for sure. Open wide. Sure. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's it! I should have played the cut this other cutthroat also. And attacked it. I knew I wasn't playing both aftershocks. I should have played that first. Okay. Take a peddler. Peddler also has Augment. Lots of Augment. Lots of Augment. Parlay! That's good. That's a spell I can play immediately. Yes. Basically enable a lot of this stuff. Now these pilfer goods cost zero. Oh, but I'm gonna—I just—I'm gonna draw my puff caps that I just gave them, aren't I? Ah, oh, that wasn't smart. Ah. Oh. We 
march as one, an unstoppable force. Run away, bite! Yeah, puff caps, playing a puff cap deck and a nab deck, a nab deck don't going. work well together. Those don't work well together. Alright, I'm just done in this. Did any of these things do anything me. cool? Not really. Dead in their traps. Alright, so we gotta heal my Nexus back up. So I played that so I'd have the people are my There we go, an even bigger crowd favorite. Alright, back to twenty seven. That's not bad. Twenty seven is respectable. We can we can handle being at twenty seven. Our crowd favorite was definitely the favorite. Having that life steal. Um, can I choose none? Or, yeah, can we choose none? I guess this thing. Level seven! Our third power? Allies have overwhelm? All right, that's gonna be our one. Allies have overwhelm. It's not necessarily the best, but it's just another, you know, it's another keyword, right? So they all have overwhelm, and then they'll get an additional keyword that's not overwhelm. Our hand's never gonna be empty, so that does nothing. And I don't really want to just create more counterfeit copies all the time, so. I guess that's our one. All right, we're saving that those rest ups. What do we got over here? We can have a one cost time winder or shakedown that draws a card or apprehend that makes a one cost poro. These honestly aren't that good. <laughs> I guess we'll take like a one cost time winder, I guess. Deal one damage to two different things and you discard a card also. I guess. That's not even that good. Or we draw a card with some shakedowns. I'll take Shakedown. When you summon a Legion Marauder, create a Legion Marauder in your deck, and game start, add a Legion Marauder in hand. It costs one. Okay. So my thinking here with taking that, um, I don't know, the card that I just did is that, you know, they could have like some powerful things that we need to kill, and just that's more ways to give them vulnerable. Mulligan. Crush bot. Alright, so disappointing last couple of powers for us. We had some real potential. But now this thing, our one drop here is quick attack, augment, fury, overwhelm. Man, I gotta hit. I wanna attack. Right, I'm gonna attack. No! We had to hit Lurk. So I had Lurk, Augment, Quick Attack, Overwhelm, all those things. Fortune favors the bold. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Legion Marauder with that plus one plus one. That's not great for me. Oh, this is not great for me. I know what I'm doing. 
Okay, what can we play? We can play the Ramping Wolf. What do we got here? Yeah, we're gonna have to start killing these things, that's for sure. Gangplank! That's a good gangplank because now that, that's Misfortune's ability gets doubled up. <laughs> the powder keg has scout. Since I've never had a scout powder keg before. Do any of the other things have scout? No. You challenge you, you challenge you. And they still have that 7 6. Okay, let's go, Death from Below. So we've hit one, one Lurk so far. So death from blow is doing five damage. Anyone hurt? <laughs> That's not enough damage. All right, who's blocking? Unstable volition. You're a five seven. Slipper wave rider. You're a four four. Have the four four block. Obviously, we gotta block both of these. Man, these Marauders get big fast. Alright, death from below. Everything having overwhelm is kind of nice. Hmm. Man, these things really do get big. Hey, TF. How's the partner? Pretty good. Quit smoking. Dead in their tracks. All right, so we stun there. Funny who you remember. Lady Luck is smiling. It's your third attack, Misfortune. Wow, they let it all go. I don't know why I'm checking how I don't know why I'm, I'm checking how many cards I've drawn. Alright, down to twelve. Okay, we got our own big Legion Marauders. Victor! We three will have blood. Let's have some blood. With regen? So obviously two of these block, and then I gotta throw away. I guess we're throwing away. You're bluffing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Twist of Fate. You're gonna go. I'd rather keep Pike alive. Cause Pike levels up the next time Pike does damage. Yeah, that's true. A little surprised they didn't pull the misfortune. No materials, no improvements. What do we got here? Hmm. Maybe I should have open attacked. Oh, 
think we'll be fine, though. Alright, you attack, then you. Then you, then you, then you last. Or actually, you first. Alright, you first. Yes, hitting that lurk is really important. So now Pike kills anything. Yeah, now if they if they block Pike, they die. Basically. Well, they're just dead anyway, but. Oh, they didn't block Pike. Oh, they didn't block Pike. The only card I want them to block. No, because the Pike. Because, yeah, I was going to have the Sharpen Resolve plus the three damage. Like, the Pike was going to kill everything. Um, Alright, so this puts them down to four. Oh no, they didn't block Pike. And then they had this. This was... Oh, this was not what I was expecting at all. Oh no, that's all my champions dead. I can't save a champion. Oh man. This went very poor. Oh, I guess it, this has quick attacks. Never mind. I do save the game twice. Okay, quick attack. I think my hopes lie within this cutthroat. Cut Come on, cutthroat. Get him. Boom. Had it the whole time. Whew. And stayed at 32 life. You know, by making those blocks, stayed at maximum health. Jagged Butcher with Last Breath Rally? Or Grandfather Rumel with Lurk? To help out other Lurk stuff. So Jagged Butcher will also have Lurk. I like this Last Breath Rally. Let's go for that. Oh, we reached level 8? What do we get for level 8? We get another power? Okay, when you summon unit, grant it Fury? Yes, okay. So now all of our units will have Overwhelm, all of our units will have Fury, and all of our units will get another keyword after that. Wow. Alright, what do we get from the shop? Judgment that heals our nexus for eight. Or burble fish. Or that. Okay, I like I like this crush bot getting spell shield, honestly. I'm gonna take a crush bot with spell shield. Do I want to buy a bunch of crush bots with spell shield? Because then they'll have, because they're they're lurkers and they have spell shield and they'll have overwhelm and they'll have another thing and they have five health. They're honestly really good. It's honestly kind of better than anything else here. I don't play that many spells. Yeah. Those crush bots are actually really good. Okay, now they can have fearsome. Yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, what? Round start, you and your opponent exchange your weakest followers? Wait, I'm not going to have any weak followers. I'm not going to have any weak followers. Okay, this is this is gonna be really weird. What is gonna happen here? Scout, <laughs> scout, overwhelm, fury, lurk. But now they get to take this. Okay, well they have to exchange. Okay, good. You, they don't get to just take it. 
Hopefully they have one health each. Uh, one of them has one health. So Parlay draws a champion. Man, that is... That is rough. Because now I attack, they get to block. Dude, what a power. That they have. I'm just going to play this slot bot that's going to grow. Oh wait, it just keeps on going? We don't get our things back? Safety will cost you. What? I kind of assume they're gonna do some attacking. They these people always attack, right? Wait, that was like a scout attack? At least I'm leveling up this pike. What did we get? Oh, the last breath rally on the Jacket Butcher. Oh man, everything is so weird. Everything's crazy. Dead men tell my tale. No, it is silent as the night. Like a fish in water. <laughs> All right, so Splinter. I'm going with. Oh, you have Scout also. Yeah. All right, so I'm going with the Gangplank to get the Powder Keg, so I can I can parlay for two damage and kill like this, like one of these, one of these things. So now they won't have an ally at all. I guess that just kills them, though, too. But I'm back down to 18. I took a lot of damage there. That last breath rally, I took a lot of damage. Our deck is still ridiculous, though. That was just crazy, because they took my... Okay, zero mana Mystic Shant? Magician with... I think it's zero mana Mystic Shant. Yeah, we don't want to transform stuff. Okay, so both Mystic Shant... I'm going to forget about that, too. Mystic Shant doing damage to me. And that other card does damage to me. Powder Pandemonium. Eh. Grifter. Give Jagged Butcher tough? And I can make more of them and they have the last breath. I guess, yeah, let's make more Jagged Butchers. They have the last breath and they're also, again, these are all lurkers, so they all help each other out. So this thing already has. Oh, what does this thing have? I forgot what power. Oh, that makes a Poro, I think. If I remember correctly. Okay, I think that's all we're doing. And now it's final boss time. Get a couple of heals in. Yeah, the Volition isn't bad. But I don't... It's not a Lurker and it's not a Champion. I don't think we need it. Alright, I'm going to cut the spray fin. So we can't we can't heal anymore. We're fully we're fully healed. So I'm just gonna cut the spray fin. Again, it's not not really actually that necessary. Okay, let's go. Gangplank time. 
Because we I just want basically like lurkers and champions. And a bunch of cheap cards. Remember, we draw the extra two cards in the first round, so like the more cheap units that we can play immediately, the better. This all looks pretty good. The aftershock, I could keep it or leave it. I'll just keep it. Okay, so every round start we take two damage. And they summon powder keg. And then they get the dreadway. I should have gone with the cutthroat. Yep, should have gone with the cutthroat. Alright, we got Fury though. Okay, maybe not. This is gonna work out pretty well, so Jack and Butcher of <laughs> Look at all these keywords. Keyword craziness. Don't know much, do ya? Uh I kinda need to kill that with my parlay. This will work. Oh, that was with the pike? Alright, we'll kill this. We get the Claws of the Dragon coming to play for free. And we'll summon, heal my Nexus, the two back. Okay, it has Scout. That's good. Scout attack to go along with Misfortune. It's got Overwhelm, Fury. Do you have Scout? No. You have Tough. Run while you can. Man, our deck is amazing. Alright, so now they get a Dreadway. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. <laughs> I was feeling so good, and then they suddenly have a Dreadway now. Uh, I don't know if I like this. Them getting a Dreadway. Do I want a red card? Yeah, I kind of want a red card. Hey, TF. How's the partner? Pretty good. We're smoking. You got fear some? Yeah, so our one drop... Oh, and it also has Last Breath Rally, too. You poor thing. You're bluffing. Yeah, we can rally here. Let's get some attacks with Misfortune. <laughs> Down to seven. I can probably just attack here and kill them, I would think. Right? Like, they probably can't stop that. There really wasn't much much harm though playing like Gangplank first before attacking and getting. Okay, yeah, they can't stop it. And there we go, that's our deck. Easy win, round five against Gangplank. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. And that's how we do things in Bilgewater. So we did have Gangplank, Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Pike, all combining together, all the Bilgewater champions combining together to defeat Gangplank. Yeah. Alright, so that's zero deaths. And this was an A wealth. So we only got twelve ninety nine gold. I had a better rating on the, the first one that we played. I guess because I bought more more cards, I guess. This deck felt a lot better than the first deck that we had, but I got I had a better I had more gold on the last one. At like thirteen forty or something like that. <laughs> all of our allies have overwhelm all of our allies have fury also all of our allies get a random keyword and the allies that are three or less have lurk Dang, that was crazy <laughs> all right experiment succeeded that's a run with twisted fate man this this game mode is so much fun all right there we go so i guess a rating is my best rating so far a on both of those all right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, 
hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know how you're liking this mode. I hope you all are enjoying it as much as I am. It's so fresh. It's so much fun. And uh, just like the Lab of Legends, I really enjoy it. It's like the stress-free. You don't have to have like anything in your, your collection, right? You can just get to just play these for free. Um, it's incredible. It's incredible. And if you're tired of ranked, give these a try. Let me know. Give me those stories. Give me what kind of decks did you have? What kind of powers did you have? Um, that kind of stuff. Love to hear your uh, stories with, with these. And which one of these is your favorite champion? Misfortune, Tom Kench, and Twisted Fate. Which one's your favorite to play? And which one was your first one to play? All that stuff. Leave those comments. Love to hear from y'all. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.